I was in a dark web Red Room. Story dates back around 2013, 2014, back when Red Rooms were a little bit more prevalent. Me and all my friends were on Skype and we were all just hanging out, talking on a random Saturday, probably around like 6 or 7 p.m. We're all pretty bored and then all of a sudden one of my friends, who actually wasn't even in the call, drops the link. We all load up our Tor browser and of course the VPNs and we hop right on. It's an extremely weird and random website that we're on, but there's a countdown, 60 seconds till start. There's some weird and ominous music in the background, but we think of nothing, we're all talking and everything's fine, and the countdown starts. As the countdown starts, the music gets randomly louder and louder. Then it hits 10 seconds before the start. We all start 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Then it starts. The screen is still extremely dark and then it starts to add a little bit more light every time. As it starts, all we see is a person standing there looking extremely uncomfortable with weird and wide eyes. Looks to be around a 25, 26 year old man. As the screen continues to light, we end up seeing someone standing behind him in a mask. It wasn't just a normal Halloween mask. It looked like someone made this just for this event. As I said before, the music is getting louder and louder as the stream continues. Then the screen is fully lit. You can see that the man's hands and feet are zip tied together. Kind of like how you would do a pig. We're all in there and we're all on Skype and we're like, what? is going on right now? Where are we? The chat just roars once they see what's actually going on. People just start putting absolutely insane things into the chat, what they want to do to him. Chop his head off, boil him alive, throw frying oil on him, things like that. And we all knew what was going on. We all knew we stumbled into a red room. One of the biggest rules of joining a red room is to never leave. For the simple fact of your IP has been logged, and once you leave, people will start to notice. And that's when the true horror starts. What they ended up doing to this guy was absolutely horrifying. They ended up doing whatever the top donator ended up donating and saying to do. Someone donated $5, cut off a finger. Someone then donated $30 to have his leg cut off, and so on and so forth, until the man more or less had no arms or legs. Then the last person finally said, slit his throat. The man looked at the camera and nodded, and then slit the man's throat, dropped the knife, and then walked out of the room. Then the live stream ended. People were still talking as the live stream was finishing up, with saying that they can't wait to come back next week. That was one of the last times I decided to go on the dark web, because it's just not a place for normal people.